hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is actually just going to be a quick update on my pets i basically did kind of like clips with voiceovers so you're not really going to see me too much just my pets which obviously that's what you're here for so that's a good thing um but yeah so basically i wanted to just catch you up on some of my pets it's not all of them but just a few of them and i feel like i haven't posted in a while so that's why i decided to do an update video i apologize for not posting that much i am trying to get back into a regular schedule where i can work on my youtube videos along with everything else in my life um this glare is real one of the updates that I wanted to give you isn't necessarily a great one so I want you to prepare for that um but yeah other than that let's get into the video now I wanted to give a quick update first on cocoa beans and s'mores cocoa beans and s'mores are my foster guinea pigs if you guys do not know who they are I did do a video not that long ago kind of introducing them and telling a little bit about their story so I'll put that in an i card right here for you um, but basically you see them here in a carrier we're on our car ride actually to meet their adopters so basically this update is to let you know that they got adopted um, they have a really sweet family it's um, a little girl basically is gonna be their mom um, but obviously the adults have done their research. They applied to adopt and all of that I've been getting a couple of updates on them and seeing how they're doing and everything like that The rescue kind of put like an estimate on what day their birthday is for cocoa beans and s'mores But it just so happened to the day that they had like kind of estimated was also this little girl's birthday So the little girl was so excited to celebrate her birthday with them She also was so excited for them to the point where she had a picture of them on her desktop before she even got them so it was super cute I'm so happy to see how loved they are so first look at this cute pineapple house that I got I actually was given this um, yay for dogs freaking out but quickly just a little overview of the cage I just cleaned my mice cage so as you can see with this cage clean, I totally um, took away the fleece idea. <laughs> um, I did that because it's not really working. The girls are still <clears throat> not exactly letting me try to tame with them um, or bond with them. So I've had no luck with taming, but um, that's okay. I kind of, like I said, I got them from a feeder bin at a reptile expo, so I kind of expected to not really have a close bond with them, and that's okay. Um, they're just really, really nervous little mice, but that's, like I said, okay. I'm completely fine with that. I really enjoy watching them and spoiling them with what I can. So this little platform has um, handles because it's just like a basket that I got at the dollar store but it has little handles and they can fit through the little holes so that'll end up being a little hidey house as well as the platform where they have their food and their water. <clears throat> they always love this little house so I think that it's super cute. <laughs> I try not to leave it in every single time so that way they don't get used to it and they enjoy it more. And then this is their platform that I've been using for them. I kind of haven't changed it because they've chewed it a little bit. So I'm just kind of letting them use it until I have to throw it away. Um, their other wheel that's one of their favorites is a wooden wheel and that's getting washed. So anyways, yep, this is Selma and Louise. This is their new setup. And like I said, I kind of gave up on the half fleece, half um, bedding idea um, that I had posted in their, one of their last videos. Um, I will put an iCard up here for you guys if you want to check that video out. So as far as an update for Hazelnut, my hamster goes. Back in February, the end of February, I actually rescued a, another bunny. And he had come in a single coordination cage. And so back then... Um, like I said back in February I had changed over this cage to a hamster cage for hazelnut and I really haven't posted too much on my channel about her 
um, or anything like that. And I do apologize for that. I love her and we spend lots of time together. Um, if you want, you could check me out on Instagram, shameless promo. Um, but I post pictures there of all my animals and you can see cute ones of her there. This is so that you can get a good look at her new cage setup. I am enjoying it a lot and I believe that she is too. She seems to really, really like it. Um, she was changed over from the 40 gallon breeder tank that I had to this and like I said I think it's working out really well for her. So just as a disclaimer I wanted to let you know that you are going to see some things in this cage that I wouldn't recommend for normal regular hamsters. For example the levels in this cage are covered with fleece um, and she also has a fuzzy bed that you're going to see in here. These are things that I just would not recommend for normal hamsters that can chew things up. Hazelnut has, ha she's a hydro hamster and she only has one tooth. So um, that's just for people who don't know her. But of course I have updated you guys about her condition on this channel before. But she is a hydro hamster. She only has one tooth in the front. So she isn't able to chew things up like normal hamsters can. Um, it has its pros and its cons. I feel bad for her not being able to, but we have to mush up her food and I, that's a whole process in its own self, but we do grind up her pellets and we put some baby cereal in there for some flavor and some mealworms and that's her food, which we'll show you in a later video. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend using this type of a bed for any normal hamster. Another quick update that I just wanted to throw in here is that my reptiles have been moved up to my guest room for the summer. We put our air conditioner in and it's constantly on downstairs because it's just like in over the 90s right now. So I needed to put the air conditioner in. So that being said, I didn't want to be counterproductive and have their heat lights going but the ac going at the same time so i moved them up to our guest room and that's where they are now and i will insert some clips that you should be already seeing um of them here nice and happy um yeah savage has a nice big black beard because he can see stella and he's not too happy about it but yeah it is what it is so as far as an update on the rats go i actually just spent yesterday well not all day but I made this double hammock yesterday and I have caught them laying in it and I actually just finished making this cube thing today um, I'm not really sure if they'll ever use it but I have caught them laying on top of it Unfortunately, I do have some bad news as well to share about my rats. I don't know if any of you guys really remember, but I have talked about it quite a bit, um, more so in my live streams than on a video, but my rat Jack, he actually was going through um, some serious health issues. He had a severe upper respiratory um, infection or disease or whatever you want to call it. My vet called it an actual respiratory disease and said that he was like late stage, like stage three or four of the respiratory disease. And I actually was treating him with four different medications a day. So he got three, two times a day and one once a day, I believe it was. Um, he actually passed away a little bit ago I haven't shared it yet um, like I said it's um, something that I've been dealing with for quite a while as far as his health goes and I've been watching him kind of deteriorate and it was not easy for me and I actually don't know how to feel as far as rats go because it's just sad for me that these little things they create such a bond with you and they just don't live long at all. They're really, really smart. This is my first time ever losing a rat. These guys are my first rats I've ever had and we'll see what happens in the future. But I do miss Jack a real lot and it's something that 
I hope that no one really ever has to watch their animals go through. I mean, I know it's bound to happen to everyone, of course. If you have an animal, they're going to they're going to get sick or they're going to get old and they're going to deteriorate and you're going to have to kind of watch and just help them along as best you can. Basically, what I'm trying to say is yeah, my sweet boy Jack did pass away. So, I didn't really want to put myself through making a whole video as a tribute video for him. So what I decided to do is do a little bit here, as you can see, um, putting some clips here of him just enjoying his daily life um, while he was still with me. And that's all I'm really going to share. If you guys have any questions, you definitely can feel free to ask them down below. I don't mind answering questions or just talking with you guys. I'm going to end the video here. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching the video. I do hope that you enjoyed catching up with me and some of my pets. I know that clearly it wasn't all happy updates and there was, you know, the sad update about Jack passing, but overall all my animals are doing really really well and yes i miss jack it's something that i have to go through and i really really try to share as much as i can with you guys about my animals so i felt like you guys deserve to know about jack passing as well and i hope again that you guys enjoyed the video anyway and i'll see you in the next video just don't forget to do all that fun youtube stuff like subscribe put that notification bell on leave a like and a comment down below and like i said i'll see you in my next video bye